Hey everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So I've mentioned, I've talked about my uh, ferry line setup, ferry hose setup a couple of times now, and some people have asked me for a little more details. So the idea here is I already have this open up, right? I've already plumbed the tanks for return lines, regardless of what I was doing here, because I wanted to keep my options open for ignition systems. Um, so it doesn't costs me very much time or money to run a ferry line. And what the ferry line gets us is if we ever want to do a really big crossing, hint, hint, um, we are able to plumb something into the back, right? Like this is the baggage compartment over here. Here are the rear seats. We can plumb something into the back that will just pump into the tank. Um, the benefit of this versus having an additional tank is I don't have to vent this. I just need a pump that shoves this into the actual fuel tank. So here's what it looks like. Over here, it is just um, going in the side of the airplane with a little piece of angle, uh, one little hose, and a check valve. That's just a little check valve, nothing special there. Let me zoom in. Nothing special, just a little end air check valve. You can buy them from Aircraft Spruce. They're going through additional holes that I drilled uh, in these uh, side pieces. Um, and notice the rubber grommets. There are rubber grommets for every hole because you don't want stuff rubbing on metal. Over here, I have a click bond uh, standoff with an Adele clamp just to hold it a little firmer. Um, over there, I do need to put another <laughs> gasket, but if you look on this side, it is zip tied with a little standoff there. Two more um, click bond fittings. And then over here, there's just a 90 degree and it goes through the side of that panel. I added nut plates over here. Instead of riveting that in place, I just put nut plates and it's just gonna be capped off, right? Because I haven't decided which ferry tank system I'm gonna use or any of the above. It's probably gonna be something like a turtle pack, but I figured an, an, uh, an AN fitting right there um, is easy enough to retrofit to whatever I need in the future, right? To plug a hose in, to plug a quick disconnect, whatever I need easy enough. Um, and it's an AM6. I decided to go with a dash six um, size hose, mostly because uh, why not, right? Like I could have done a four and then it might take a little bit longer to um, transfer the fuel. And the six doesn't hurt me at all, right? Like there's no downside. And here's the fitting coming out the side and it just gets plumbed uh, into the fuel tank. All right, thanks for watching. Three minutes of fairy tanks.